there are many strategies to prepare nanoparticles in that one of the attractive and efficient method to prepare nanoparticles today going to explain and today topic is soldier method for preparation of nanoparticles so before going that what is nanomaterials the material in which having a nanoscale range in any one of the external dimension so material having any one of external dimension within the nanoscale region then that material is called nanomaterial so what is nanoscale generally 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer scale is called nanoscale so 1 nanometer is equal 10 to the power of minus 9 meters okay so we are our naked eye have ability to uh, see the objects which having up to micrometers okay but below micrometers uh, with our naked eye we are unable to see that objects we need a special operators the materials which having the dimensions less than 100 nanometers those are called the designing preparation and utilization is called nanotechnology so uh, there is a based on the dimensions of nanomaterials they are classified into four types so those are zero dimension one dimension two dimension and three dimension so zero dimension means all the three dimensions of the nanomaterials uh, within the nanoscale region that means all the three dimension along the x-axis y-axis and z-axis they have size below 100 nanometers then that materials is called zero dimensional so don't confuse here zero dimensional three dimensional zero dimensional means no dimension above the nanoscale okay three dimension mean all dimensions are above the 100 nanometer scale then it is called three dimensions okay next uh, one dimension mean only except to one dimension except to one dimension all two dimension within the nanoscale region so two dimension mean only one dimension present in the nanoscale region remaining two dimension exceed the nanoscale region so already told three dimensional mean all three dimensions are not within the nanoscale region then why we have to call those material as nanomaterials why because nanomaterials definition means the material external dimension any one of the external dimension within the nano scale but here all three dimension is not present in the nano scale even though these materials are called nanometers because of these materials are prepared by 0 or 1d or 2d dimensional materials when you combine all uh, these materials we will get a composite materials like mesoporous composite electrodes so three dimensional electrode materials these will be appear that means core objects present in the three dimensional are 0 or 1d or 2d these are within the nanoscale region that's why these are also come under nano materials so if you see the examples here so nanoparticles quantum dots all are coming into zero dimensional category so carbon nanotubes carbon nano wires these are coming into one dimensional uh, carbon one dimensional nanomaterials and two dimensional graphite sheets and layers uh, sheets will come in under the two dimensional and composite materials are come under the three dimensional material so I already explained in one of my video that is origin of nanotechnology why nanometals are superior than the bulk material you can watch the video I uh, the above the link is displaying to you so briefly I will explain here if you take a bulk atom which having the under bulk material which having the under atoms it only having possessing 36 surface atoms and 64 bulk atoms okay when you cut this bulk atom into four parts now you can count the all 64 surface atoms here so 64 surface atom and 36 bulk atoms so when you cut down the bulk object into four parts so surface atoms are increasing and bulk atoms are decreasing like that if you cut the 24 equal parts the one bulk atom you will get 100 surface atoms these are all the surface atoms 
so and there is zero bulk atoms that's mean when you decreasing the size of the object you are increasing the number of surface atoms surface atoms are highly energetic why because if you can see here bulk atom is totally satisfied totally um, share its energy and it is settled but surface atoms are unsaturated metal they still have energy to so share with the others that's why these are highly active materials so when you increase the surface atom total surface energy of the metal also increases this gives the different properties than the bulk materials so how can we prepare the these nano materials so to prepare the nano metals we have a two approaches one is top down approach and bottom down approach bottom up approach so top down means when you take a bulk atom and we cut down into smaller size to reach nano scale then we can prepare the nano materials this is called top down approach and bottom approach involved in the atomic size to nanometer scale atomic size mean they are in angstroms atoms present in the angstrom range so they are very smaller than the nanometers so take that smaller molecule and by combining them by increasing their size to reach the nano scale that is called bottom approach and today topic is sol gel method sol gel method is an example for the bottom up approach so sol gel process is also called wet chemical technique so it is also again it's also called chemical solution deposition that's mean a chemical solution is prepared and the solute particle present in the solution is undergoing to deposition method and will finally get a solid materials so those materials within the nano scale region and this process is called sol gel approach okay so to convert this solution to nano materials we need a different uh, processes and you can see here sol gel process the example of bottom to top approach or bottom up approach sol gel process as the name implies the transition of liquid colloidal solution sol to a solid three dimensional network gel so converting into converting sol into gel that's why it is called sol gel method so to convert these uh, solution to nanoparticles or nanometers we need a several steps such as hydrolysis polycondensation gelation aging drying and calcination and crystallization so there is so many steps involved in this process so before going to steps what is sol, what is sol and what is gel sol is not a simple solution it is a colloidal solution when you add metal precursor to this solvent it will mix a solution so this solution this solvent molecule solute molecules involved in hydro hydrolysis process and their particle size increases more than 1 nanometer and forms a perfect colloidal solution so this is called sol so in this very small solid ionic particle are suspended in a liquid okay this is called sol so now this sol involved in polycondensation reaction slowly they converting into semi rigid mass so then the semi rigid mass is called gel so totally during this process ions present in the solution arranged in continuous three dimension network in a gel so solvent solute mo molecules present in the sol forms a three dimensional network uh, during the polycondensation and forms a gel so now this gel is subjected to aging that means the polycondensation increased over the time that is called aging so after that drying and calcination results the final nanoparticle material let's take an example to prepare the silica nanoparticles start with the silica alkoxides so generally taking precursors are silica al alkoxides chlorides or nitrates we will starting with the silica alkoxide when silica, silica alkoxides are in, uh, interact with the water involved in a hydrolysis process and they form a silica hydroxide solution so that is a colloidal solution this is the first step hydrolysis to form a solution okay now the silica hydroxides interacts in polycondensation reaction and forms a, a three dimensional networks and this is called the gel they forms a gels 
so now this gels is subjected to for long time this is called aging during the aging this chain growth will increases and uh, they will become densified and these densified metals for the long time and above clear solution is decreased or removed and finally the subjected to drying so over external water molecule will be evaporated then it is subjected to calcination when you did the calcination all internal moisture and water molecule will be evaporated during the calcination at a high temperature then this is subjected to the crystallization to get a final nanoparticle materials so this is a simple process and start at the room temperature only calcination required a high temperature that is a general process for every process but the preparation method involved in the solution preparation and gel formation everything will be done in the room temperature so that's a very important process here so many parameters will affect the process so ph so water is very sensitive to ph so by by changing the ph the different parameters will change in the materials and next is solvent solvent is very important uh, first of all a precursor molecule completely dissolve in the solvent so solvent is encouraged to dissolve all starting materials in it and finally it needs it helps to connect the nanoparticles together at the gel formation process and temperature is also very important parameter it affect the kinetics of the different reactions in process so if you increase the temperature this hydro hydrolysis reaction poly condensation reaction aging will be speed up but there is a uh, there is a def defect in this temperature when you add more temperature so more number of pores and large size of pores and particle size also may be increased because of allogomeration process and time so large times if you do the process in large time uniform distribution and stronger gels will form if you make a shorter times by increasing temperature like that precipitation takes place sometimes weak gel networks also form so catalyst so without increasing temperature you can also speed up the reactions accelerate the reaction by using catalyst so catalyst is the without disturbing the pore structure and particle size you can speed up the reactions by using catalyst and agitation so mixing of sol during the gelation should be uniform so when you uniformly mix it the solution then every particle experiencing the same type of distribution over the gel formation so these parameter affect the particle size and structure of the material so this uh, sol gel method is a very attractive method why because it is carried at room temperature it allows us to provide the range of novel and functional materials so these functional materials can be used in the different applications very effectively an attractive method due to low production cost and sol gel samples can be designed with a wide variety of morphology such as monoliths films fibers and powders so we studied the only preparation of nanoparticles by changing the last steps we can also change we can also prepare the monoliths films fibers and different types of materials so this is the sol gel method and uh, thank you for being with me thank you very much